Good morning, y'all. David Atkins, Target Individual. I'm back with another video. Um, and my next video will be Monday. Uh, I'm getting uh, hit pretty hard lately. Um, but, you know, I've found some stuff to, you know, keep me... Because multitasking can throw off the remote neural networks and um, throw it off a little bit. You're still going to get hit, but it'll throw it off a lot in multitasking. Find something where you can multitask and do different things at once. Today, I'm going to be um, talking about a good, interesting article. And it's called, and it, it starts out, Chinese researchers turn to a $1 adhesive to counter billion dollar laser weapons from the U.S., China's already surging ahead to find ways to defend against direct energy weapons. And this is a um, pretty interesting article. It just came out June 12th, matter of fact. All right, first I'm going to read a Bible verse, and it's from 2 Thessalonians 3, uh, 1 through 3. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified, just as it is with you. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Okay, and um, anybody hit with direct energy weapons, man, help me research this stuff. You know, I want you to help me research this right here, because, you know, China's innovating and it may be something that works. It's called uh, boron phenolic resin, or BPR. You know, uh, phenolic is spelled P-H-E-N-O-L-I-C. It says researchers at the Beijing Institute of Technology are experimenting with boron phenolic resin, or BPR, a commonly used material in hot and high stress environments to counter billion dollar laser weapons being developed by the U.S. China is the world's largest manufacturer of the BPR. It only costs the country seven yuan, the U.S. dollars is one dollar, to produce 2.2 pounds of the material, the South China Morning Post reported. The U.S. has been working on laser weapons as the next leap in its military technology thanks to its capability of being deployed on land, in water, and in the air. Interesting engineer has previously reported multiple success stories of laser weapons in deployment, achieving results similar to those of conventional, conventional missiles. Okay, with low-cost drones becoming a commonplace in warfare, laser beam-based weapons are a great low-cost weapon to fire at them and promise unlimited ammunition as long as there's a shared power supply. The U.S., however, is taking the laser weapon a step further and using it counter-ballistic missiles as well. Uh, the research done by the Chinese promises to make a major dent in U.S. plans. Where is BPR used? Boron phenolic resin is a low-cost resin used in industrial environments facing a lot of heat and high-stress conditions. The resin also has a military application, where it is used as a high heat protection layer on missiles and high-speed drones. However, laser weapons can easily burn a hole in this coating with a laser exposure, uh, exposure of a few seconds. The research team led by Gail Ling, a and Beijing Institute of Technology professor, adds some inorganic compounds to the resin to make a new composite, BPR-1. Interesting, the compounds such as silicon carbine, zirconium dioxide, um, and carbon black nanopowder were bought strain were bought straight from the market and added to the low cost resin. Resin. How did BPR one fare against lasers? In their experiments, the researchers applied 0.1 inch, 2.5 millimeters coating of the newly made resin and tested it against a 15 second blast from a weapons grade laser. The power density of the laser was 500 watts per square centimeter, which is far more intense than what is typically used to target a ballistic missile. According to the S, um, the South China something report, a laser a laster from a three megawatt weapon would theoretically have a power density of 300 watts per square centimeter. For all its advancement space in space, the U.S. military has only showcased 300 kilowatt laser weapons, and megawatt laser weapons are currently under development. After the 15-second test, the back surface of the coating showed a surface temperature of 445. Fahrenheit, which is far lesser than the 752 Fahrenheit melting point of aluminum used for aerospace applications. And the research, researchers also found molten glass-like material across the heat affected zone, which they believe was likely created by the added compounds in BPR-1. With the U.S. reportedly spending a billion dollars every year on laser weapons, it appears the Chinese have found a low-cost way to counter the upcoming technology. Adding more power to the lasers would require further research and development. 
pushing back the U.S. plans to deploy them soon. There you got it. So if somebody could help me research this, I'm going to put the link in there and um, in the description and you can get the chemical, all my uh, um, people out there that's good with the shielding stuff. Um, if you can research this for me and figure out, you know, where I can buy this stuff, where I could try to, or where you could buy this stuff. Cause you know, I don't know if it's $1 for 2.2 pounds, you know, I was thinking, but you know, if you got an adhesive, you know, adhesive, you know, I know there's better people out here better than this shield and stuff than me. Adhesive would have to be spread throughout the whole room, wouldn't it? You know, anyway, I, I'm waiting for feedback on this and I'm going to share the article. Any feedback's necessary. Um, welcome. Also, if you want to, um, I encourage y'all to share y'all's experiences in the comments because it helps other TIs look at experiences and relate. So I, uh, I encourage that. Um, if, if you post something on YouTube under my comments and they don't show up, that's not my fault. Um, I've noticed a few people said that and some of it will let show up and some of it it won't. I don't have nothing to do with that. But anyway, God bless y'all. I'm going to take tomorrow off, get some rest, meditate on the word. And um, yeah, it's boron phenolic resin, but it has to be mixed with, um, you know, it says, uh, well, anyway, I'm going to put the link in there um, in the in the description. So God bless y'all. I hope y'all are holding up well. Um, you know, I've been taking tons of vitamins and all that, um, and it helps a little bit. But, you know, multitasking for me is is one of the best ways for me to throw it off. So. Anyway, God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day.